Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario All-Stars. So last time we just finished Super Mario Brothers and now we're going to go ahead and start Super Mario Brothers 2. A very fantastic and underappreciated game in my eyes, honestly. I, a lot of people don't like Mario Brothers 2, but I like it a lot. It's, it's still a good game. Anyways, here's our story. When Mario opened the door, after climbing a long stair in his dream, another world spread before him and he heard a voice call for help to be freed from a spell. After awakening, Mario went to a cave nearby, and to his surprise, he saw exactly what he saw in his dream. Push start. Now that's the most important part, kids. You gotta push start in order to start the game. But anyways, holy crap! Four playable characters? That's awesome! That means we'll get some variety this time instead of just Mario, but uh, this is his game, so we'll go ahead and start off with him. And what are those things? I don't know what they are, but they look pretty cool. They don't look like Goombas, though. All right, so those are actually called Shy Guys, and uh, yeah, this is their first appearance in a Mario game, although this originally was not a Mario game, believe it or not. For those of you who don't know, Super Mario Bros. 2 was originally a game in Japan called Doki Doki Panic. They didn't want to send over Super Mario Bros. 2 from Japan, aka the Lost Levels here in America and other parts of the countries, because, uh, well, let's debate on why they didn't send it over. There's two reasons from what I've heard. It was too hard, and also it looked like just a reskin version of Super Mario Brothers. And after playing it myself on the Wii and whatnot, honestly, I can't say I blame them just because the game is hard, don't get me wrong, but that's not my problem. My problem is that it looks exactly like Super Mario Brothers 2, or excuse me, Super Mario Brothers 1. Even the graphics look the same. Uh, not so much with All Stars here, but. Uh, Spoiler alert, I have no plans on doing Lost Levels unless you guys really want me to, because I'm not a big enough fan of Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels. Yeah, I'd rather just stick to the original three, so it's going to be up to you guys whether I do Lost Levels or not. But anyways, as I was saying, the graphics look exactly the same. They're not all nice and new looking like this one, so I can understand why they... That's one up, by the way. Mushrooms are one up in this game, one ups in this game instead of uh, making you bigger, so very interesting. But anyways, uh, Super Mario Bros. 2 in Japan looked li exactly like Super Mario Bros. the original, so I can understand why they didn't want to just port that over here, because it would look the same, people would be like, this isn't a new Mario game, it's exactly the same thing. It might as well just be an expansion pack or something like that. Personally, I don't think that, but I'm sure someone out there would have, so I can understand why they chose this instead. And I'm kind of glad they did, because Super Mario Bros. 2 is very fun, if, we, if you ask me personally. Now over here we have a little uh, shortcut to the boss, but uh, spoiler alert, I'm going to screw it up royally because this freaking shy guy, I was trying to grab him instead of the bomb, but I missed him, and then I grabbed the bomb and it blew up on me, and you guys obviously saw that, but man, that sucked. Also, these potions take you to the Dark World, you saw one earlier though, so... Yeah. So the gameplay, as you can already tell, is very different from Super Mario Bros. 1, and in all honesty, it'll be very different than Super Mario Bros. 3 once we get to that one, and every other Mario game I play on LPing on here. Um, you can't jump on the enemies normally. You actually have to pick them up and throw them at each other. Uh, you can't just pick them up and throw them into a wall or on the ground. You literally have to throw them into something, otherwise they won't die. And that is one thing that I do find kind of annoying with Super Mario Bros. 2. I wish you could just jump on them normally, or maybe do a ground pounder or something like that. But unfortunately, that option is not available. So, a little annoying in that regards, but I still say it's a fun game. That thing I picked up down there, that little stopwatch will stop time. So, pretty fantastic if you're trying to get around enemies and whatnot. I guess one good thing about uh, not being able to kill the enemies is with, with a jump is that you can ride on top of them. Like, look at this bug thing. I'm just going to ride them up to the top. Screw climbing the vine. I don't need that. And that music indicates that we've reached the boss. So who's the boss going to be? It's going to be Birdo. Yep. Birdo is making her debut in this game. And uh, you basically just want to pick up those eggs she spits out at you and throw them back at her. So she's a pretty easy boss, but uh, let me tell you now, we're going to be seeing a whole lot of her in this game. Not that that's a bad thing. It's, it's a fun boss, but it is a little simple. They get better, though. Don't worry. 
Except for one in particular that I really freaking hate. But we'll get to that when we get to it. So, this is the bonus chance at the end of the levels. Um, if you have any coins, you can spin the spinner. Or the roulette, or the... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The slot, that's what I was looking for. The slot machine. And you can try and earn some extra lives. Uh, you can see right down there I have 87 lives, because... I've been playing this game quite a bit, so I'm trying to not get a game over like I did in Super Mario Brothers. Because, uh, let me tell you now, I'm going to be dying quite a bit in Super Mario Brothers too. you know. I may not be good at Super Mario Brothers the original, but I can at least, you know, I'm at least very familiar with the level design and whatnot, know where to go. But with this, not so much. Yeah, I played through and beaten it before, but, uh... Still, I'm not the best at Super Mario Bros. 2. Like, if you thought I was bad at Super Mario Bros. the original, you haven't seen nothing yet. But, no extra lives for me, oh well. Anyways, let's move on to my favorite character, Luigi. Well, my favorite character to play in this game, at least. So, Luigi is different from Mario in that he can jump higher, and his moves are quote-unquote a little bit more slippery. Um, I don't know if i just gotten used to it or what, but I don't really notice it myself. So, pretty much for me, Luigi just jumps higher, so... Yeah, that's that's why he's my favorite to play as. Luigi's awesome, don't you know? Of course, I, I always like to pick the sidekick characters. You know, that's why Yoshi's my favorite character of all time. That's why, you know, I like uh, Tails more than Sonic and whatnot. I always like the sidekicks. I don't know why, I just do. Yep, even in Robin's case, I, I like Robin more than Batman. Surprise, surprise. Alright, so... Yeah, now we're about to meet one of the, the... Excuse me, the most annoying enemy in the game. This freaking mask. I hate that phantom mask. He's so annoying. The second you grab his key, he's going to chase you everywhere. And worst of all... You can't kill him! Not unless you get a time stopper and a star. And let me tell you now, find those two together, not common. So, as far as I'm concerned, you pretty much can't kill him. But, anyways, just wanna blow out the wall here with some bombs. There we go. And unfortunately, the Ouija super jump can't reach up there. That's one thing I forgot to mention too. If you crouch down in this game for a few seconds, then you'll uh, do a super jump. My only real problem with the super jump is it takes too long to charge sometimes and you'll end up getting hit by enemy, which is really annoying and I hate that. Some of the level design choices in this game do kind of baffle me. Like, look right here. Why can't I just jump up there normally? Why do they have to make it so that I get hit by those cats because I have to super jump? It's ridiculous. Like, seriously, how about just make shorten it down so I can just jump into it? Anyways, every time... Every now and then you'll find vegetables and other stuff in the ground, so you can pick those up and throw them at enemies. But you'll also find potions to enter into the dark world so you can get mushrooms and other goodies. And, uh, yeah, boss time. So, you want to take a guess who it is? If you guess Birdo, you are correct. Now, the only problem I have with Luigi is his higher jump actually does make it a little bit harder to land on her eggs so I can throw them back at her. But, I'll still pull it off anyways. And I almost got hit by an egg there. That would have been embarrassing to die on level 2. But, thankfully, it won't happen. I won't allow it to happen. Alright, come on, Birdo. There we go. Starting to get into the rhythm of it now. Ah, oh, I missed that one. Darn it. Darn you, super jump. I guess it's not really super jump, it's just this regular jump. But you know what I mean. His higher jump. See, so yeah, I definitely don't think Luigi's the best for taking on Birdo because of his higher jump. Uh, personally, I think Mario is probably the best for taking on Birdo. But anyways, grab the orb and let's go through this weird bird face again. I, see, what is that thing supposed to be? Seriously. But, uh, let's see if I can get an extra life or two this time. Please. Alright, star. Seven. No, I'm not going to get one. Dang it. Third time's the charm, maybe. All right, star. Oh, oh, am I going to get it? Yes! All right, got a two up. And now for the worst character in the game, Toad. This 
was gonna suck. A lot. Yeah. Remember how useless Toad was in Super Mario Bros. 1? Well, he's still pretty useless if I'm honest. Now, I probably should have looked up the differences between all four characters before I record part one, but don't worry, I will for part two. But, uh, I don't know what it is, but Toad just feels really stiff to me, and I don't like it. I think, I think it might move a little faster if you choose to run through the levels, but the only problem is the level design doesn't really complement that too well. So I don't really find myself rushing through too much, like I did in Super Mario Brothers, because, you know, there I just loved going fast, because the levels, you know, complemented that. It allowed me to go as fast as I wanted, but this, I find you gotta take it kinda slow, mostly. And there's a time stopper. Grab me a cherry. There's a star, but it ain't worth it. I ain't dying for no freaking star. Uh, for those who are curious about how to make the stars appear, every time you grab four cherries, I believe, or was it five cherries? It might be five. I don't know the numbers off the top of my head. I apologize. But anyways, after you grab a certain amount of cherries, the star will appear and... Gosh darn it, I can't believe I took that hit. But anyways, once you grab a certain amount of cherries, the star will appear and you can grab it. Uh, sometimes uh, hearts will appear too, because unlike before, hearts are now your health. And that's, that is one thing that I do kind of like with Super Mario Bros. 2, is that it has a health bar instead of just, you know, Oh, you're small, you're dead. I mean, you still shrink in size and die, but, you know... At least you can have like two hits before you go small or three or whatever, so I do like that. That's one thing I do like about Super Mario Bros. 2. And again, I gotta question the level design. Why is it that I have to super jump here? Ah, crap. Darn it. Toad, you suck. Seriously. Honestly, Super Mario Bros. 1 and 2 are the reasons why I don't like Toad, because... You know, I just don't like playing as in Super Mario Bros. 2, but I'm going to anyways for this LP. And Super Mario Bros. 1, I always hate it. I was like, thank you, but our princess is in another castle. I'm like, shut up! But, uh, yeah. Apologies if there's any background noise, too. I do have my window open because it's uh, a little warm in here. But, uh, I do have a... Uh, uh, something in my editing program that might be able to remove the background noise. I think I'll probably try that out this time. Anyways, got the key, so we just want to get the heck out of here. Got to get to the bottom quick. Got to avoid those shy guys and those sniffets, I believe they're called. Alright, so we're doing good. We're doing surprisingly good, despite the fact that I'm playing as Toad. So that's good. Alright, just gotta keep on moving. Give me that cherry. And these electric ball things are really annoying because uh, they're hard to kill. Oh, star. Give me the star. Give me the star. Give me the... Ah! Freaking cat. Yeah, that sucked. Uh, I guess one other thing I should mention, too, is... Uh, gosh darn it. How did I get hit there? Oh, there's your... Okay, I'll get back to the topic I was talking about in the next parts. Because it's boss time, and no, it's not Birdo this time. So before we can begin fighting though, we gotta blow out these blocks, so grab some bombs and just blow the wall away. There we go. Now we gotta take on Mouser, and he's actually a pretty fun boss if I say so myself. You just wanna grab the bombs he throws at you, and throw it up on his platform to blow him up. Pretty simple. Alright, so I guess I'll go and get back to the topic I was talking about now, rather than next part. Oh, boss is dead. Yay! Anyways, uh... In Japan, Doki Doki Panic, uh, interestingly enough, uh, Shy Guys and uh, Cat Things and uh, Mouser, all characters that would later become, you know, iconic Mario characters, um, weren't originally Mario characters. So I always found that kind of interesting how Mario kind of kept the Shy Guys and whatnot, because it wasn't originally Mario, you know. But uh, they decided to keep him anyway, so I'm kind of glad they did, because Shy Guys, Nexus Chain Jumps, have always been my favorite enemy in Mario. But anyways, folks, that's going to do it for part one. So I'm going to be doing one world per video, so it should be about seven parts long. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.